Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting. And in this video, I'm going to show you how we can utilize SAP Simple Finance to assist cash managers. There are a variety of ways in which we can do this, and I'll begin by looking at the cash position. And we'll start in Fiori. This will be a dashboard that we're looking at, and this is the central cockpit for the cash manager. So to begin, we'll take a look at the cash position by clicking on this tile right here. And it just gives us an overview of the cash position. And we can also drill down a little bit further by looking at cash position by region. We can also look at cash position by country. This will allow us to change the view to something which allows us to view both banks and currencies. So moving on to review the cash flow, we'll go back into the dashboard right here. And besides just the cash position, we can take a look at both the inflow and outflow of cash within the business. So to do this, we'll click on this cash flow tile right here. And we can see that these in the green we have cash outflow, and in the blue bar right here we have the cash inflow. Very easy and very simple to use. Moving on, we'll take a look at reviewing the liquidity forecast. And we'll just take a look into the future to help understand the liquidity trends for our company. So to do that, we'll click on this liquidity forecast tile right here. And we'll see the forecast for the next seven months. And these blue columns are the estimated net cash flow, while the green line shows the estimated balance. We can also click on this open in button down here and we can compare plans and actuals for the liquidity. Take a look at different plans here. So we can take a look at forecasts, actuals, and other different plans that we have. So again, very easy and quick to take a look at the liquidity forecast for the company. Moving on, we'll take a look at the counterparty risk. And you'll see that we have a tile that summarizes the bank risk for banks below A minus ratings, which is this tile right here. And based on our company policy, we'll need to transfer money from a particular bank, which is below an A minus rating, to a more secure bank. To do that, we'll click on this tile. From here, we'll click on bank risk. And down at the bottom, we'll see that this Volgo bank has a B rating. And not only that, but it has 35 million in the bank account. So we'll click on this bar to help transfer cash out of the bank and into a more secure bank. We'll click on this transfer cash out. And now we'll just choose a bank account to transfer to. In this case, we'll be transferring this to Citibank. And then down here, we'll click on initiate transfer. And that will initiate the transfer, and payment will be triggered automatically from here. Moving on, we will review and approve the bank transfer. So within this company, there's a policy that any big payments or transfers will need further approval. So we'll do that by clicking on the Approve Bank Payment tile, which is down here. And quickly from the screen, I can see all of the pending payments that are waiting for approval. And up at the top is our 35 million that we are transferring. And easily, all I have to do is click on this Approve button down here. And the transfer will be approved. Now, the cash manager wants to look at the cash position and payment details to make sure that the transfer is being handled correctly. So we'll go back in and review the cash position one more time. We'll click on this cash position tile again. And since we're moving that amount to Citibank, we'll just click on this bar, the Citibank bar down here. Then we'll go to analyze cash position. And from here, we'll be able to see the detailed inflow and outflows of that bank. And the cash position of this bank is summarized by different currencies. And for each currency, it will start with opening balance followed by inflow and outflow and followed by closing balance. Now to drill down a little bit further, 
into this, we can see this 35 million expected payments into the inflow here in US dollars. So I'll click on this. And this will show all of the payments belonging to that US dollar inflow. And so here again up top, we have that $35 million. So I'll click on this. And from here, I can see the detailed status of the $35 million transfer, including payment information, bank communication detail, and accounting details all in one place. Now, moving on to the last step in this video here, we'll review bank account requests. So our cash manager for this company discovered from his homepage that there's a new bank account request for his approval. And from here, we will click on the My Bank Account Workless tile. And now I can see which subsidiary is requesting a new bank account, the reason of request, and other information. And similar to previous steps, all we have to do is click on this green Approve button to approve those requests. So this concludes the demo about cash management using SAP HANA. If you have any questions on how Blue Marble can assist your business by utilizing SAP Simple Finance, please email us at info at sap-bmc.com. In addition, you can also visit our website at www.simple-sap.com or give us a call at one of the numbers listed here.